All right, Kima, we are back with uh, another part, part two of our conversation. And, you know, of course, this was always in the works, but I think more so now than ever, a lot of persons are looking for additional information on how they can have like an overall, you know, an increase in the in the in the quality of life that they're experiencing and you know having food be a part of that um you touched on something the last time that i wanted to go a little bit deeper in and that's just like mucus in the body now growing up i've always felt like mucus was like like a healthy thing something that's probably even normal like yes you know that when you get a cold excess mucus will come out but I've always thought that that was like something that exists. How, how wrong was that, first of all? And then to help me understand like the role that mucus plays in the body as it relates to causing dis-ease. Well, mucus, we have what you call a mucus membrane. And by right, that mucus membrane really acts as a defender. So mm -hmm. it was supposed to trap invaders from not letting you breach what they would have called the epithelial tissue or cells. Like if you breach the skin, you mean you get under. And when you go in, there's another layer of skin that protect internal organs. Mm -hmm. But the amount of acid that we consume on a daily basis for people who have like ulcers, acid reflux, then get breach. Mm. When they get breach, the mucin will escape, which is like a acid. And it burn really hot. If, if it drop on you, it actually can burn through your hand. Wow. That is how dangerous it is. And um, once the mucous membrane get breached, that mucous membrane, which is the good layer, means that there's another mucus that is external. It come from outside, come in. And once they unite and it intermingle inside what happened now you end up with what them call autoimmune disease mm. so your body know a fight against you so yeah what they call internal war and internal strife that is where you see people get boisterous acidious insidious disastrous just wicked because wow. them have internal war and when you have internal war a fight you know you really can't be of good Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit did a lot of people know that food really act toward wicked behavior because the well, behavior I, know, act... I know that, like, when you eat mm -hmm. the serotonin, and I think you touched on this the last time, is what comes from the gut that's like the happy, happy hormone happy food, that's yeah. triggered by what you eat. But no, I didn't know that you know it also works the opposite end. So if you you're intent is of ill will then that also will come out as well mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that's insane like if you check um what they call um melancholy where i don't know if you remember in jamaica people would say you're billy ass man I know, I know, I know Billy S and I know we was it in song. I just, I, if I tell you, I know what it mean, I'm lying. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what it means. All right, so a man would have said, all right, somebody will get angry, boisterous, and be of bad. Yeah. A man would have said, oh, you're Billy Ass, man. You're too Billy Ass, man. But a little bit did he know that what he was saying, that his bile duck not working. Wow. Yeah. So, Okay, and then the bile is is bitter, like your gallbladder. Right. It, right. Okay. Okay. Not not too swing too far, but in reality, maybe for another topic, patwa was really a good language. I will yeah. show you something. If you say morning in English, you would say good morning. Yeah. But there was no got the connection to good morning. Got morning right. mortgage and morning is the same thing. Right. So if you just say ma, if you notice in a Jamaica, I would say if you eat too much and say you stretch your ma. 
I just learned that like maybe a year ago, uh, my husband said that and I was like, what the hell is that even? Like, no, that's your stomach lining. Yes. I didn't know that. But your ma is also a part of the essence, the spirituality. But Nin, Nin, which is, uh, so you are M-A-W-N-I-N, Ma, Ma, Nin. Nin is like a chi. Wow. So when we say, um, Ma, Nin. Ma, Nin, it was correct. If you say, good, good morning, it's like you're going into morning as if somebody dead. So when we, they give us English language, we really change it. Mm -hmm. And balance it, not just like a feminine, but also physicality, mm -hmm. female and male. That is the total. So mm -hmm. internalizing with food is the same thing. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to be eating food we have balance. So when the Bible say in uh, Genesis 1 verse 29, and I give thee the food bearing seed, Mm -hmm. for your meat it was supposed to because these food were supposed to be balanced they are balanced food they are electrical they are magnetic food and so when they're going they wouldn't have to fight they know exactly what to do so let's say you acid reflux and your stomach wall tear up so you it burn the acid that burn a constant and your mag down your throat sometime you can't keep no conscious state of mind mm -hmm. let's say you eat papaya there's what you call inside the papaya, mulich. So what you do have done is coat the stomach wall and like it start to repair the acid. So wow. the stomach wall will get teared to that coat it so the lining will actually come back together. Yes, but let's say now you eat rice, white rice. What the rice, white rice would have do because of the arsenic content that is in it, it would have go inside and create a mucus space and cause more detrimental effect. And then when that goes down to your, what do you call abdominal cavity, it's spread out. And inside that mucus breed parasites because nothing never really die. It's a cycle. Mm. And these bacilli now would come out and invade the body. The, the wicked part of that now, that would, they, they will defecate back in the body. Mm -hmm. And so when they defecate back in the body, it, it breed up more fungus and then it decompose the blood. So some food was supposed to be eaten and some was not supposed to be eaten. Mm -hmm. But we did not know that. You know, so we continue wow. to eat you know, and eat and eat and eat until, you know, doctors say you have this you know, arthritis, diabetes, lumbar. Yeah, cancer. like that, that fungus thing is a, <laughs> a great visual. Like if you have a picture of those black mold that grows when the earth are like damp or wet, it's certain it's it's certain to to let you know that there's something extremely wrong that's yeah. going on like i had a cousin of mine who he went to the doctor and mucus was in, in his knees and it had developed to the point where he was he wasn't able to walk so like how does the mucus know where to like it's land insane. and gather yeah well the, the mucus the intestine, when you eat something, by right, they say you must masticate 32 times. But God never really intended that for you to do too much work in eating. So right. when he created fruits, he put pectin. Pectin is a digestive enzyme. Right. So and it's also in like jam or stuff like that. Right. And once it is natural, when it becomes cage, it's unnatural. Tin mm. food is unnatural. Anything or bag up is unnatural. So it's like a secondary food you're eating. When you pick a fruit, I just buy a fruit, wash it off and you eat it. You get the living enzymes from it. So by the time you put it in the mouth, it starts to dissolve. Mm -hmm. So it would go down into your digestive system and the systems that need the minerals. So let's say your heart need calcium chloride, which is the heart food. Your brain need potassium phosphate, which is brain food. But your bones need calcium, magnesium calcium phosphate. Mm -hmm. Those are bone food. So for instance, now the bone is looking for this calcium, but it can't find it. So it will borrow it from the blood vessel or the teeth or the bones. So if you're constantly borrowing, just say you have a neighbor, and your neighbor have a point of salt, but you are cooked, but you always never have no salt. So you go over to go borrow a tablespoon. 
is no more a pound. So tomorrow you're going to bar and bar and bar, you're getting less and less. Mm -hmm. So straight now start to come on the blood vessel that are getting weak. Somebody's rubbing, there's a thief somewhere. Mm -hmm. It is the knee cup. Wow. Because this person now having what you call him bone spike or bone spur, bone growing up because the synovial fuel that's supposed to get liquid. You know that liquid gel between the vertebrae? Yeah. Bone don't touch bone. It's gone. So that is why the, the acid never really start in the knee cup. It start in the abdominal cavity. Mm. And because there was no nutrients from there to filter to that section, the bone have to suffer. Wow. You know, it's, a, it's like you would call it as a total body mal uh, malnutrition. You know, so you end so up the low. body in trying to defend and still do its job in terms of protection mm -hmm. is trying to say, okay, where can we get excess mm -hmm. that we can use to spread around? And it's, it's wow. <laughs> it's uh, yes, that section suffer. <laughs> you know, indeed. So if you check good. Let's say someone want them here to grow. And you've been doing this and you've been doing that and been doing that. But if the if the brain is clogged with mucus from internal, the follicles won't spread out because the brain needs oxygen, high end. And once that uh, fungus or anything clear, then the ear spring into being. It is that simple. But what do you put up there? You have to know the food. Mm -hmm. The brain have a special food for for it for it feed itself. Mm -hmm. But all of it start right here, mm -hmm. you know. And once you clean the gut now, and the frequency can travel. I see if you look good when a child is farming. Inside the mother is what they call the intravenous space, which is the maternal pool, just blood, 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 blood. This is what they call the umbilical card that stretch out from the from the mother's mm -hmm. womb and go right into pitch black here. That's just a tube, but from that tube the blood will farm the life. Mm -hmm. So nothing but blood farming flesh. So that's why in the Bible it says, for the life of the flesh is the blood. Mm. One of the human being main biggest problem is iron deficiency. That was next on my list. Like I, I can honestly say, well, one, I don't know of a time that my mom was ever not anemic, but like, myself and my sister we have we both have like severe anemia like single digit hemoglobin readings mm. like I remember some time ago I went to the doctor and he's like how are you walking like how are you not passed out because your iron levels are so low so mm. he's like walk me through your diet like let me know what you're eating what you're doing and when I did it's like but you're eating all the right things and I'm like, well, how is it that it's not translating over to these readings? And even if I go back in two months time, it's the same thing. Like how, how talk to me about how iron deficiency really helps to just limit the way in which the body functions and how, what, what is the extent? Like how bad can someone, um, how bad can the damage be for someone who is iron deficient? As I just said, as inside the great book of life, I call the Bible, it is every, there is everything. For the life of the flesh is the blood. Mm -hmm. And I have given it unto you upon the altar as an atonement for your soul. Mm. Atonement means payment. So if you look good, if the life of the flesh, this flesh is the blood. It never started in the flesh, or the blood met the skin and the flesh. Yes, so deprivation of iron has always been known the first killer of mankind. Wow. How did it how did it come to that? It's simple. The food that we eat don't have iron. So when a doctor say you eat the right food, because I remember now, if you look at the food pyramid, you would see meat. But meat was not a part of the almighty conscious state of mind because he said. I think in um, the book of Jubilee, he said, tell your sons and daughters, do not eat partake of flesh because every man that kill an animal, his blood will be required by that animal. In Africa, they call it the Sasa spirit. So when you kill an animal, 
when that animal died, that spirit will plague that person. Mm. So this is where people would say, "Dopey the pio." The way how you behave, I can't do how much you kill. So everybody will see kills an animal. They always been plagued by an animal spirit or haunt them. It also said for every man that you kill, every man also will look for you to kill you. Your blood will be required of them. Mm -hmm. So upon that knowledge, we understand that, you know, for kill or for eat, because your food was actually prepared for you already before you're born. Yeah. You understand me? So when you don't have iron phosphate or iron chloride, these are in fruits and they are in plants, you will be iron deficiency. The meat cannot give you iron. You understand me? But the fruit does. So once you don't have it, anemic is the first one. And three quarters of the world is sickle, sickle cell anemic. Mm -hmm. I mean, like basically everybody. Then you will start to have eye dimming. You won't see bright. As every read father, you're getting blind because there's not enough blood coming through your brain. Mm -hmm. You will have um, arthritis, rheumatism, lumbar, or sciatic nerves. All of them will come in. Every pain in the world. Because if the blood isn't pure, if it, if it isn't rich with nutrients, then it, that essentially affects everything. Yeah. Right, right. You talk about, um, of course, the best sources coming from plants. Yes. Nowadays, a lot of people are looking into liquid chlorophyll as a way to kind of supplement that. Is that helpful or does that help to increase the body's ability to absorb iron from things like lentil or greens and stuff like that? Um, chlorophyll, chloro mean green and phil mean to regenerate. So you're actually regenerating. One million cells die per day. And so you need to replace back that one million dead cells. Now, we don't regenerate as human beings because we don't eat food to be regenerated. Mm -hmm. Chlorophyll is good, perfect, because they are cell regenerator. But most people don't know what is chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. Some people drink spirulina and corella. But those things originally, which is carrageenan, was supposed to come from the seed that was supposed to be pure. But man now is manufacturing those in labs. Mm -hmm. That's a total opposite from nature. Now, when you look good at chlorophyll, when you pick a plant from the mother, like you pop off a leaf or a limb, the mother wean it. It's no more connected to what they call iantrophorosis. Mm -hmm. So for instance, when a plant sends into the earth, it sends out roots, pentacles all over, and it targets the minerals that, that it wants. Mm -hmm. Every plant has a specific mineral that it needs. So you have calcium plant, iron plant, sodium plant, prostate plant. They come from the earth. Inside of all plants, there's chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. But some plant, when you pick it, the chlorophyll, then it don't come over. Okay. Right. So then you have to know the ones them that the chlorophyll come over. So a lot of people drink green juice. But green, green juice was not something that was prescribed. If you're having chlorophyll, you have to know the plant that has the chlorophyll benefit. Mm -hmm. I'll let, give you one. There's a plant we call it Urtica dioca. In Jamaica, we call it stinging nettle. Nettle. Right. That's a chlorophyll plant right there. So when you pick it, it still retains the chlorophyll benefit. Mm -hmm. And so you can put the, the, the leaf in some warm water and it kills the scratch. Guys, it will scratch you. You know, and when you kill the scratch now, bam. You can just put that in your extract and you extract the green juice and rich chlorophyll is there. Wow. But not every plant, like wheatgrass and some other ones that they have, lack of knowledge sometimes can do a whole lot of judgmental problems. And that is what is going on. Yeah, but because I, uh, like that trend has taken over a huge chunk of the market. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people who are like, look, chlorophyll liquid chlorophyll even like the essence that you can just drop in some water like mm -hmm. that is what i've been you know using as part of my daily routine it's been so helpful but then they can't tell you what's in it they can't mm -hmm. tell you what plants are chlorophyll plants versus calcium plants versus you know whatever other minerals so that's an important distinction because like it i didn't know that and had I just gone out there and just bought that, I could have probably caused more damage because it's like, okay, I'm, I'm at the end of the day, I'm introducing something else into my body and I'm still not getting the nutrient that I need. 
one of the reasons why enough of these issues, especially people go up on YouTube to look information happen. If you break it down, it's simple. So for instance, you are def deficiency in calcium and somebody, that person with deficiency in calcium may actually look for calcium. And so when they find it and they take it, that plant, specific plant, it worked for them. Mm -hmm. But that other person who look at that video with this person says, oh my God, this is great. I, I tell it's marvelous. They're getting some likes on their feed, of course. But that person drink it and it's not the same thing because you are not deficiency in calcium. As a matter of fact, you might more cause carbonate problems and you end up with calcification instead of calcium. Wow. And so this is what is really happening to a lot of people. So you tell people, say, you can't just go to Google or YouTube and say, that's it, because the information is not valid. They don't know. And I find a whole heap of that. So when you try to explain to somebody, say, listen, maybe you were this deficiency in potassium mm -hmm. and the concentration of calcium plant is not potassium plant. Hmm. You need a potassium plant, but then you have to know which plant gives potassium. Then you would have felt good. But sometimes when you even take potassium, you'll get a little, you would say, feeling. Like if you take a, a um, aspirin and, and you feel a little pinch from half the pain, you won't get the pain diminished because it's just a small amount of plant is in the aspirin. Yeah. You understand me? So yeah. there's a whole little, little glitch and hitch when it comes to health, but people are actors. <laughs> Listen, because nobody wants to do the work to no. read or to get a consultation or to find the information at the source. We want to know, we have a quick fix. Mm -hmm. We can get rich quick, we can get healthy quick. I'm not, I, I just want to do this till Christmas and then I can live my life type of thing, oh, right, as opposed to a lifestyle change, like the long-term thing. like. Um, you know, I think our generation right now is among the highest to face a lot of fertility issues. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many people um, who have been struggling, struggling to conceive. Um, the last time you spoke about being able to assist someone after years and years of not mm -hmm. being able to have her child, uh, in terms of what you would more commonly find in situations like these, what are some things that on a day-to-day -day basis people may be doing wrong? And it's not, is it a, a situation for you where it's always on the side of the women that you are seeing some of these issues come to light? Yes, three, quarter, three quarter of my client is this. If I have a hundred clients, maybe at least 90 is women. Wow. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, you know, um, all these type of different mucus inside of the womb. I would tell you, to be honest, three quarters of them is iron deficiency. And one of the reasons why it's, it is like that is because a woman menstruates every month, but they don't replace that which they last. Mm -hmm. You know, outside, if a woman do an abortion, it is critical to a female reproductive system. And she supposed to clean out what you call the afterbirth, mm -hmm. or what is the remnants of what is left. Most women don't know that it don't come out. And it will stay in there and cause plaque and blockage. Yes? Uh -huh. And when that happen, it block up the whole womb. That is one case. Also, she is not getting sufficient blood to our home. Also, they may have yeast infection, trichomonasis, vulvitis, vagetitis, candida albicans. All these are uterus destroyer. Uh -huh. the, next, the next thing is when the semen meet the egg, the egg has no life. So even if they, the semen eats the egg to charge because the semen have electricity, when a man Populate with his wife, the semen travel to the brain to be charged by electricity. So if a million travel up there, only one will be charged. Mm -hmm. You know, and that is the one that comes back down and will go right into the egg and charge the egg and then 
The follow-up into will take the egg and carry to the uterus and the seed for nine months and nourish and she have birth. Some women also they have pelvic inflammatory problems. Or they might have uh, an infection, maybe are STDs. And all these things, these things that we have to look to watch. So when we when people talk to us, I say, give me a little history, not just today, but from your 15. What were you facing? That we know, I know exactly what I'm dealing with, what I'm up against. Guy, you, you can say you, you want to be pregnant, but I really don't know nothing about you. You have to really tell me what's going on with the body. And if you are talking to, say, a 30-year-old, like, that's a 15-year history. Like, that's a lot that has happened over that time. Yeah, yeah. That can impact, you know, issues that may have been overlooked from she was 15. That's no coming to light and preventing her from, you know, giving birth or having a child. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, as I said, I have a friend. And when he was in school, you know, with younger days, he catch gonorrhea. And back then, you would get antibiotic mm -hmm. and maybe a penicillin, something of the sort. And at age 54, the same disease surfaced. Mm -hmm. And so he's going to the doctor for something totally brand new. And I'm saying to him that it is the gonorrhea that is there. It may come out as something different, but it's the same. It's still gonorrhea in the system. There. Right. He must say, no, man, I get it up. I say, no. First thing you have to understand, God don't make mistakes. Mm. The only thing that identify a disease, and this is all disease is basically mucus. The only thing that identify a disease state of mind inside the body is herbs. It was the herbs was created just like us. They're no different. They have sense. The, herb, the plants have the knowledge of good cells bad cells so once the herb go in there it sees it and it analyzes it and it says listen this is not supposed to be in here what's going on mm -hmm. the lymphatic system gets involved because it is the one that move you could say switch poison out of the body through the kidneys and into the urinary tract system the digestive system normally in most cases is black so you can't reach to the disease because there's a barrier you understand me so what I've worked now is that we have to clean the digestive system and the liver get functionable to clean the blood. Mm -hmm. Then the blood will create what they call macrophages and dendrites, which are immune fighters, to go to the immune system. Once they reach the immune system, the immune system will glide through the body like a little boy on a surfboard and picking up the garbage, put them in the canteen and to take them to urinate out or defecate out or sweat out. Uh, sweat out. If that is not taking place, the disease won't move because in most cases it's an antibiotic. That is not the case. So the disease stayed dormant for all these years in there, just laying down, looking and waiting for the right time to expose himself. Mm -hmm. And so when we check, because when I was sick back then, I realized why I couldn't get better because mm -hmm. what I just explained was not taking place. I am blacked up, stuck up. I'm full of hard type of we're treating the symptoms. Like you highlighted that the right. last time around that we spend so much time treating the symptoms, not right. it don't work. Looking at the root. Right. Yeah. So that is what happened. You talk about like um women who have had abortions in the past and you know have not like removed that after birth. And I remember it's not so much right now, but maybe two years ago, a lot of information was being put out about vaginal pearls and the ability of those to pull out like what's left in inside the womb, what has not been passed through, um, you know, on a regular cycle or, you know, whatever it is that's, that's left back. Is that something to the best of your knowledge that has benefits as they would put them out? Is that something that women should be using, as, you know, a part of their feminine, you know, sexual and productive health practices? The, the human being has come a far way. But one of the biggest mistakes we make is that we forget who created us. Mm -hmm. And the moment you forgot who created us, you also forget about it. As the Bible said, my spirit shall not always dwell with man. Man become corruption. If you have a decomposed blood, meaning you have pus inside your blood, 
one of the problem you will face, you will have a nasty scent, very smelly, not good at all. If you have a decomposed flesh inside the body, the only thing that move it is plant. It may sound funny. Any other approach will disaster or scrape it out. Then you will not just have those removed, but you will have good cells that dead again. Scar tissue. Right. Now the problem with a cell when it die, this is similar to what they call cancer. When one cell die, it drains another good cell. In other words, in Jamaica, what I say, one bad apple do what? Spoil a bunch. Right. So that is exactly what happens. So you create another disaster for yourself. But there's a difference. Let's say you take a plant by the name of Cabolte and you give a woman that plant to drink who are also have any form of home problem, whether a bash and a left over, yeah. any other thing. And she drink that for months upon months. You'll find out every dead cells, it will actually lift it and run it out and she will urinate it out or uh, defecate it out. And the home is clean without no problem, no destruction, mm -hmm. no issues, just good. Outside of that, any approach is acidic approach. Mm. And so you've all right. I have clients who boric have, acid. A lot of people use boric acid to that's as dirty. a repository. That's, that's, that's dirty. See? That's dirty. I have a client who have a what they call a C section. 25 years. And 25 years after big woman, she feeling chronic pain at the same cut. Wow. And she said, when she do the test, let me see a, a big scar tissue underneath here. All these years has not well. And she's in agony and pain. And then something destructive left for happen. The pelvic stay open Ooh. and it wouldn't close. Now, if you look at that situation, then you have um, spinal cord damage. You got the, the, the back constantly appearing, constantly appearing. And when I say, give me, me a little history, but she never know about it until way after 25 years when she went to do a test, then said this. Well, that's what's happening. Wow. Right. So when she come to me you now and say, can this be closed? And I say, yes, it just need to close. You need those plants that are constricted. One of the chemistry or the science of plant is that every plant was already created mm -hmm. to meet our health demands. So when you take out mucus out of the body, which is the perpetrator, wherever you find it, that place, because it gets what you call like a push start from a plant, will bring it forward to its being. And so, so when, when she get close up, <laughs> it was kind of mind disturbing because, I mean, for so long it opened and she tried 100,000 something and it can't lock and them operations, so no, she can't go through that again, that for so it cars. So when it finally closed and she asked, how is this possible, how this year? I said, well, that's what herbs do. I really don't know, but when you put them inside the body, they know exactly. They know what to do, yeah. yeah. So we would tell the woman who are using all these things inside it, don't do that, it's too sacred. It's a very sacred place. Mm. Get a good plant, an iron plant, sarsaparilla, mutamba bark, you know, these things, clean it and clean it out. And the waste. And you know a good plant in Jamaica, we call them information weed. I don't know if you're about that plant. Dark blood. Dark blood. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 It's a very good cleaner. Wow. Yes. Uh, I, I like coming into 2020, you know, um, I'm, I'm speaking for myself, but I know a lot of people can relate. Like just the year that was kind of, left a lot to think about like just where you are as in your life like what you've really been doing whether or not you are instigating change or impacting the people around you and um, a lot of people in their quest to kind of bring their purpose out um, they have been trying ayahuasca as a way to connect with themselves spiritually and just I guess face those things that they have not they have been avoiding, they haven't want to, to, to face. What, if anything, like we know, most people know about weed 
and the fact that, okay, you know, you can get a high by just the chemical components. A lot of people know about like tobacco and those kind of impacts as well. Um, but the difference with ayahuasca, based on what I've read, is that, okay, this is more a, a spiritual experience than it is just for recreation. In our last conversation, you talked about just the fact that, of course, we are a spirit, we're spiritual beings. And so that connection just with ourselves and to our food is something that we need to be more aware of. How well, talk, tell me, I guess, about what ayahuasca is if, if, and how that I, can either help or hurt people who are on that path to spirituality. I think ayahuasca is a psychedelic plant and it can really jump you to like different dimensions for most people. And most people, especially in 2020, want to escape the reality and you can't escape it because it's the reason why this reality is here now. One of the things we find out, you know, I like to jump in the Bible sometimes because you know, from my inspiration knowledge really comes from there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's if my people are called by my name, we change your ways and, you know, leave from sin. Then I will hear the prayer from heaven and heal the land. Mm -hmm. But you would find people who want to do the same thing that they do over the centuries and don't change. They just want to get by, they want to go party, they want to have a nice time. But nobody too really don't need them and pray. Mm -hmm. So for a man to heal a, a person, first thing he also has to be in a conscious state of mind. He has to fast, he has to connect to the a higher realms of life, not just this modern affairs. You know, you have to talk to your creator the animal a reason why well so why go on that the only thing look at him and say well don't do this tomorrow you know you have to do, do that next week do this you literally can't talk to your creator because it's inside of you mm -hmm. no people always find um ayahuasca so some people use mushroom mm -hmm. you know to escape the reality but you can't because you're a living spiritual being walking the planet you must go through this trauma this trauma is in the state of what I'm called decision to make. Mm. You have to face the evil and come out of it same way. And the only way to that, to do that, is to get your body in a state of rest. The Bible says, go to the old part where you'll find peace and rest for your soul. But they say they won't walk it therein. You understand me? So what we tell people to do, God, this question is focused to me more than one time. We say, listen, change everything where you know you are the wrong. Just stop doing it. Mm -hmm. It's a bad habit and it's far more than we know that. And so it stress the mind because if you look, Jamaica is on lockdown a lot of times and people cuss and quarrel, cuss the prime minister. Not like the prime minister is the best thing anyway, but then cuss <laughs> because they can't go party and them can't do this and they might get mad. But it will make life better for you. Mm -hmm. It show you how last we are. So if you find some time for the first time in your life and go to the creator, he actually will solve a problem if you mm -hmm. genuinely go for solve it. And you know, so you have to take a time and wean away. The first thing I tell people to do is try your best to cleanse out the blockage that I keep it from ascend. God, you want to ascend, but you can ascend naturally. That is it. Because it, ayahuasca, is, it, tell, it forces you to go to that higher self. But what mm -hmm. you're saying is that can be your everyday state of mind. Yes, yes. It can be every day, every second, every minute. The mind is one of the most powerful things on the planet. And anything you program the mind to do, it will do it. And I will show you. If you're watching a Netflix movie, and it is a series. Every time you watch a 49 minutes, you want to see the next part. So automatically you're being programmed to that series. All right, suppose you internalize that behavior inside of you. You get the same result. Mm -hmm. In other words, you go to school and learn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That won't leave you. So that's a programming right there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get something achieved, program yourself too. One mm -hmm. of the problems, people did not learn how to master themselves. They learn how to master everything else outside of self. And so when it's time to program self, no, they can't because they're already 
so much information is internal in the brain, in the memory bank. It's like full, it's like a chip in a phone loaded and you have to go take it out now and get a new one. That is what people are afraid of. So if you could take out that old chip, move from that old paradigm and come to a new you, people make resolution, right? So December coming and people say, okay, this is my Christmas new resolution. New Year's new resolution. resolution. <laughs> yeah, but it don't change them. Yeah. They just go right back into doing the same thing. And so yeah. the, the, from, from decades to decades, they keep rolling back the same thing. You talk movement. about decision. They, they have not made the decision. No, they're not yeah. going to do it. Yeah. So you find out some of us will do, some won't. And I tell people there's only one way to do this. You have to get your body in tune. Move out. I say this to you. When you eat meat, it creates parasites. Parasites defecate back into your body. They climb all so far and go even up to your optic nerves and eat down the optic nerves, the connection, that fiber to your eyeball, and you end up with glaucoma. People end up with cataracts, but people would actually go to um, Cuba and scrape their eyes, and they will say, good, one year time, you have to go back to Cuba. Mm. But if you check code, nobody's paying attention that it's not working because they see good for your hair. Mm -hmm. But each time you scrape, you damage the lens and the flume of the eye. So now you have to get a glass. But if you notice, if you get the glass, if the glass come off, you can't see. Mm -hmm. So where the problem is? In your gut, one, and the mucus dropping from the top of your head coming down and cover up in your eyeballs. But people don't pay too much fine details attention if you notice something not right. Why is it not working? Why am, am I have to go scrap all the way because you're not paying attention? So we tell people, say, you have to pay attention to your body. You must know if something will work. If you're going to the doctor for 20 years and the problem not moving, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Change the paradigm. Change the shift. Go mm -hmm. other places. Try other things. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever you get the, 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 the benefit of seeing, do it. You understand me? So we get into a higher place. Ayahuasca really won't care, Dave, because you're looking at jumpstart. <laughs> so you want I a natural see. start, you know, a natural wow. run. Wow. You know, ultimately, like, I've always seen those people like monks or even, you know, even if like Rastafarians, like real Rastas, they like mm -hmm. eat them, them vegan food like yourself, but not necessarily herbalists all the time. They always mm -hmm. feel, to me, you guys give off like an energy of just being enlightened. Like you just, you just know, but you know, mm -hmm. the, the, it's a lot of discipline that's yes. required to one can say even to fast like uh, I know that growing up I used food to to comfort food as a form of comfort so I remember <laughs> there were, uh, this is a story I love to tell uh, I lost like 10 pounds and to celebrate I ate pizza <laughs> because for so long <laughs> food for me was and for a lot of people I know it's that's how you celebrate. You feel good? Let's go eat. You feel bad? Let's let's get something to eat. You want to relax? All right, what are we eating? You're watching a good movie? All right, what's the snack? That's the program. So, you know, the programming around food is that, okay, well, if it's not smoking, if it's not alcohol, if it's not any form of drug, then you're doing something good. But the, the long run is that, okay, well, you're not necessarily eating foods that will kind of re-energize you, that will bring about, bring you to that higher consciousness. Because if, if you're happy, more than likely you're eating something that's cheesy or some good that bring about that good feeling. If you're sad, you're eating ice cream, or even if you're just snacking. So as someone who is constantly in that state of consciousness, like you're connected to your higher being in a different way, What's in your kitchen? Like, what are you, what's in your pantry shelf? Like, walk me through what's going on so that, um, you know, persons can understand that, okay, it, 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 it doesn't necessarily require spending an arm and a leg in order to start that journey. Yes, at some point you need to have your herbs infused in your life as part of your regimen, your routine, 
But in terms of the preparation of your meals, this is what that can look like. It's simple. It's very simple. If you come to my house, maybe you would hunger. I really don't store food. And I, I remember um, I had a girlfriend and she always say, why every time I come to this place, there's nothing to eat? And I said, because <laughs> I don't eat what you eat. Mm -hmm. I am trying to let you eat what I eat and you're still stiff now. But basically going through a day of eating, like since morning now, I eat some spelt, you know, spelt flour. Mm -hmm and just some color in coconut juice with okra. Wow. And that's that's it. And then through the day, you know, we eat like burro bananas, maybe 10 or nine, we drink some coconut water, electrolytes. If you look at the food, you can understand. So spelt is fiber. Mm -hmm. So that go down and bulk is tool and send it to the bathroom. If you look at color is iron. Okra is also high tech fiber. So what it does is pick up waste and move it. Mm -hmm. If you look at um, banana, that's potas potassium mm -hmm. that unites with every cell. If you look at coconut, now the water is electrolyte, so that is brain. Yeah, and if you in the evening now we have a cup of tea, but that cup of tea now is actually to go inside the body. That is more like a purgative tea, which takes tiny dosage. Once that goes inside the body, any form of remainder that is not supposed to be there in any cells, it goes there and it picks them out and it crushes them out. So the body don't feel weak or lagging or mm -hmm. don't have no drive or zeal for life. Mm -hmm. During the day also, we take like um, eight iron capsule that are herbal. Or your capsule, IIB. Right, to keep the energy floating. So we don't really have like a set meal plan mm -hmm. because in reality when we do history we realize our people was like what you call seasonal people yeah. so if this season it was mango they would move right there and live for six months when the mango finished they would move where the melon is yeah and live for six, that is how they usually live and so we tend to live that type of way but we really do eat cook food occasionally, not a lot because too much cooked food slug the body. Don't care how healthy the food is. Every cooked food left a little tiny bit of slime in your body. And if you don't know how to move that slime, it pad you. So when a man's belly is big, or a woman's belly is big, it's really mucus. It's not really flesh. It's mucus pad. So that's why the doctor them could do liposuction mm. or, or cut out because it's the sucking out mucus, raw coal. Yes, the, the problem with that now that swim in the blood. And if it go in the blood, you can end up with all type of blood disease from sickle cell to leukemia, you name it. You know, for hemoglobin, that is what you want. So you eat food that enter your lungs because your lungs is where oxygen move from and circular body. If you notice in corona, a lot of people have breathing issues. Yeah. But it's not the corona give them. The corona will show them up. Mm -hmm. So Corona look on a long time and say, no longer than I breathe. Not gonna make it worse. <laughs> yeah, that's what it do, you know. And so everybody mm -hmm. know a ball. And most people know oxygen is in a tank. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't get this tank, you're dead. So if you look at society, society has been sick for decades, for centuries. But few people really understand because people don't take time out. They want a quick fix. Mm -hmm. And they have to go about tomorrow and drop them again. So each time now the doctor can hone you because I know you're coming back. If you take the time out now to clean the lungs, lungs pipe with plants like zinc plant, you know, plant that boosts your immune system and your digestive tract and your blood, then you'll get rid of the problem. As mm -hmm. next month is December, everybody's going to sick again. And that's been happening for decades. So December name, big cooking, rice and peas, <laughs> all the meats. Goated soup. Name like, it. <laughs> Will it <be> a party? <laughs> All the things. Wow. There's a plant, there's a plant in the United States. Um, they call it elderberry. Mm -hmm. If you get elderberry and elderberry flowers, that is a very powerful immune plant and a blood plant, a brain, and a heart plant. Wow. So in your kitchen, as you ask the question, what is in my pantry? Which I don't have one anyway. But what is in there is that tea also, 
we have a paniculata tea, nettle tea. And why these teas is in there? They are not just herb. They are cell food. So even if you didn't eat and you take nettle, let's say you take hoodia. I don't know if you ever hear that name. No. It's a type of cactus. And when you powder it and eat it, you don't feel hungry. Mm -hmm. But you won't put on weight. Mm -hmm. If you take CMOS, Crunchus Crispus, that type of CMOS. And CMOS. You make a smoke. That's, that's a big thing nowadays. Like so many right. people are sell, either selling CMOS or, or, or saying that they can source it for you. Like, yeah, because you of know. the Dr. CMA situation. Yeah. yeah. But most of them don't know the right. CMOS because inside the United States of America, they actually hybrid in CMOS. They grow it in an aquarium up there. You know, so you you will be buying CMOS and think you're buying the right one and you're not getting it. You you have to buy Crunchus Crispus. So you have to look, Google that and you will see what CMOS. Crunchus like. Crispus. Right. And once once you identify that CMOS and you get it in the right farm, then you just start taking CMOS. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, you're not having CMOS. Mm -hmm. That's important. That's an important distinction. Like going back to mm -hmm. the chlorophyll or just how persons, people are hungry for the information. Mm -hmm. There's not enough ways in which that they can, you know, consume that. So of course you come to YouTube or you come to somewhere that you don't have to read a book. You can get, watch a quick video and learn mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, just, you know, to your point, it's very surface level. So they only hear that they need to be taking CMOS. <laughs> they, they haven't dug deeper to say, well, it's Crunchus Crispus. Like yeah. that's the one that you need yes. to be looking for that yeah. that's important very important um for someone who had you know has been watching the content they saw the first video they're looking at this video and they're looking to get started they they want to know they have made the decision they want to know how do i improve the health of my body like I want to be able to focus for longer. I want to be able to have that energy to be able to go through the day and not need as much ca caffeine. Um, I want to be able to have a full life and really connect with my higher self. Mm -hmm. Where do they need to start? Um, mm -hmm. What the what what is thing? Yeah, say it, say it, say it. Oh, what what yeah. is step one? What is step one or two? What's the first five things they need to be doing? Well, it's always, not in five things, but the very first thing you need to do, whatever is inside of the body that's impeding oxygen, take it out. And those are when you eat your ice cream, your fast food that you eat on a daily, you know, your snacks that you go to the supermarket to get, you know, all of this gluten, that bacon strip that you eat in the morning, that waffle, <laughs> You know, talking all the nice it. things came out. Yes. Oh my God. So all the destruction, because we have to remember your body is the temple of the living God. Mm. And so if God decides to live in you, then he respect you and love you and honor you. But the day that you start to feed the almighty God with junk, he don't eat those food. That is not his food. And that is why I say man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Mosai. So mm. you actually can live on words. And I say this to you, Sometimes you have people who call me to find out information how they can get their health and back intact. And upon sometimes just talking to them, they will say, well, I don't know what happened, but it feels like I start to get healing already. It is because of the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. Mm -hmm. So the word will proceed out of your mouth, supposed to be life. Mm -hmm. If your words has no life, that means you're creating havoc in society. You understand me? So the first thing to do is remove the impediment, the blockage, move them out, send you to the bathroom. The only way a human being can unite with himself is when they go to the cupboard, what we call the bathroom. Let out the waste, let it out, take it out and renew your spirit. Then once you do that, we give you iron to oxygenate the cells, rich red blood floating around you again yes then you can start to do fasting you can't fast in with too much blockage you do wow, a, that's, a 
Mm -hmm. right there is an important point because like for a lot of people starting off on their health journey or weight loss journey, Mm -hmm. a lot of people head right to fasting. Let me just fast for this 12 hour or 16 hour days, but they have not done the first two steps. They have not even increased the amount of water that they're drinking at the bare minimum, but Mm -hmm. then head straight to fasting. So you know, I just learned something. Well, I've learned a lot throughout this conversation, but just even the ways in which we have been programmed or what Mm -hmm. society kind of puts out there, um, that's an important distinction. A lot of people make the mistake to do intermittent fasting, but sometimes intermittent fasting is like you're just missing the breakfast Mm -hmm. because you can destroy the fast. So for instance, you fast for 12 hours, and then after the 12 hours, you may go and eat some bacon or some steak, baby back ribs or a burger. Then you destroy everything that you're trying to accomplish. So we tell people 12 hours fast is not a fasting. You just miss a breakfast and you will do more damage to yourself. Mm-hmm. So when you fast, when you're moving from a fast, eat some papaya, eat some melon. If you want to do a cook, you just drink some bra, vegetable bra. But you don't put back the same thing because remember, when you're fasting, that food is already in your system. The mm-hmm. fasting really won't reduce it, you know. You understand me? The thing to do when you're fast is to clean the gut out. Mm-hmm. That's the body don't want to feed on the food that is already inside there. That it will destroy your health. I hear two years down the road, you're sick and you're doing what's sick is the fasting secure. Because you don't understand what you're doing. So what you need to do is clean it out first. Clean out the waste. Take it out. And when the body feels renewed and fresh, then you fast. Because you're fasting for a higher purpose. You want to get up here to control this mind. The greatest thing in earth is to have a disciplined mind. If you don't have that, you won't reach far. So when you fast, you can actually do even a dry fast. Mm-hmm. One day, 6 a.m., 6 a.m. I if you don't want to do a, a dry fast, you do a water fast. Good water. 6 a.m., 6 a.m. If you master that, then you can move to two day. You're trying to reach upstairs. Okay, this is heaven. This is a throne room, and down in your gut is hell. And a lot of people, belly is their God. Mm. So if you worship your God so much in your belly, you won't reach heaven. Mm. Because your belly is down to inside hell. So in order for you to get this hell out of you, you have to control your belly. Because whatever goes on in hell will affect heaven. You know, so you want to reach in heaven to have all the action and the power. You have to discipline it. Then you have to stop eating those food fast. If you pass 36 hours of fasting, you make a good start. 36 mm-hmm. hours, either of water fast or a dry fast. But let's say you want to do a fruit fast. I recommend always, if you're doing a fruit fast, do a fruit fast with nettle tea. Nettle tea. Right, because it's nutrition. So you do that fast for 36, 36 hours, only fruits, and preferably one fruit, not two. So if it's papaya, it's just papaya. If it's melon, it's just melon. You will hungry because your body don't use that, but it's a jump start. You know, a thousand miles begins with one step. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid. Because your What's the right country? way to be drinking water? Like uh, for a lot of people, it's okay, a percentage of your body weight. Some people are saying, okay, but you need to be adding like a Himalayan salts to kind of get that boost in electrolytes. For some people, it's the intervals. So based on how it's positioned throughout the day, you drink that eight glass of water instead of just gulping. 1.5 liters off the bat like what's the right way to be consuming water to kind of aid in this cleansing process very good question what people drink water when they feel thirsty i mean it's common sense because if your body won't take it you won't drink it mm-hmm. and if your body not taking water obviously it's blockage mm-hmm. so what we tell people the first thing you need to do is to remove blockage because you have some people don't drink water, none at all. They say it don't taste good because they have blockage and impediment inside the body. Mm-hmm. Once the regulation of the circulatory system is active and serving you, you will take in enough water. If you're going through a, a if you're doing a water fast, you start with any amount of cups you can take because you don't want to feel too full. 
the idea is not to regulate any regiment. Mm. It's for you to take your time, do what you do. The less you do it, what that you can control, the body react much better. Because this regimen say 1.5 liter, you're going to force that. It don't work good. You can't force your body into things. You have to take your time and do it slowly until you get the result. When You will know when you can take more. And once you can take that more, then you put in more. The more you put in, you get out. But if you try putting more than already of what is inside, it won't work. Mm -hmm. The problem is that too much waste is in the belly mm -hmm. and it's keeping all type of things black up. So imagine now you have beef, pork, chicken, goat, oxtail fish in your belly and they're constantly melting each day. When you put water inside of that, that water becomes stagnant water. Mm. Stagnant water inside in, in your circulatory system and cause all kind of heart palpitation. Damage the valve them and the arteries. Some people get strokes. Some people have what they call myocardial infraction, or ischemic strokes, or cerebral problems, guided floating. You don't want that problem. So clean out the waste as the water can push. You see how your body big? The water needs to reach all three trillion cells. And if all those cells absorb that water, you feel good. But when this will put blockage inside of your belly, it can't work. So you put in tiny doses, like one drop constantly will bore a hole inside those meat. You understand me? So you put in the amount that you can take in. When you get out the waste, then you put in 1.5 liter. <laughs> should, should people be adding like Himalayan salt or, you know, lime or apple cider vinegar to their water to, to help with, I don't know, ingestion? No. Because you have to look into how the creator work. He didn't create water with Himalayan salt or vinegar. He created water. Now, we can do things according to all the knowledge that is out. Mm -hmm. Because if you put um, lime inside of water, it creates a cleansing property. Because lime is like a citrus. And that helps to boost your immune system. But you do that in the morning. When you wake up, you get some warm water, a lukewarm water, and squeeze a lime or you drink a cup to help bring down, to help bring down the night before. So we tell people one of the best things to do, stop eating at say 5, 5 30. If you can't manage, don't eat. Because the body starts to break down complex food at 11 p.m. and it stops only at 2 a.m. in the morning. So you're going into fasting mode. Remember when you wake, they say you break, you fast. So they say break fast. So you've been fasting from since you've been sleeping right back to the morning. Now when you break the fast, you might just put junk back in your body and cause the problem where you try to get from in the fast. The start. Right. So what you do, Stop eating at say, 5 o'clock because five hours the food take to break down. And once the food don't break down, it go into the 11 p.m. digestion. Mm. And so it causes complex behavior right up until 2 a.m. And so mm. some people wake up feeling lazy, chronic, like they never sleep. They bring Ghana, China, and then America. Mm. All over the place. You don't relax. So what we do, when you want to bring down things faster, you drop some lime in the water. And you drink that and you don't eat no fruits until one hour time. You can't wake up and eat bacon in the morning. Right, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, you eat a papa, a piece of melon, a ripe banana, any little soft nature fruits and get the body fiber content active to push it out. You know, the fasting is very important, but it's not a regiment. Mm -hmm. You know, you take your time. And the way I do. If you miss breakfast, I miss lunch, I miss dinner, what people call intermittent fasting. Don't eat food. Mm -hmm. Eat fruits. That's the best thing to do. Wow. Like, of course, like every time I talk to you, my mind is blown because honestly, um, you kind of show up that there is not enough knowledge out there. There is not enough of the right knowledge out there. Right knowledge. 
right. to help people to you know get to that higher power like we all want to feel as though we're we're kind of moving and operating in the ve best versions of ourselves and we need to be eating fueling our our minds our bodies with the right things mm -hmm. in order to accomplish that like we have gone over so much so much and i know that there will be a ton of people who want more information, who have made some decisions, or maybe they have something that's bothering them right now. I know you're now on IG. What's your IG tag? What's your? Ankh, um, A-N-K-H, 412. 412, A-N-K-H. 412. Nice. And of course, I'll drop your, I'll drop the link to your IG. I'll drop your yes. WhatsApp into the description below and persons will be able to reach out to you directly like yes. honestly to that point you know of the person who was like when they talk to you they feel as though their healing has begun already mm -hmm. i have to say that i don't know if, maybe you i don't think you've ever come across someone that you're like i don't know if i can help you but it's always yeah man we can't fix that yeah man we can't work on that we can't work through that and that's mm -hmm. alone you know, stirs up hope, especially for people who have been experiencing issues for 25 years, 30 years. Um, you know, ultimately, we all want to to know that we're, you know, in our in the best health. We are we are around to to serve those we love mm -hmm. for as long as we can until our purpose is fulfilled. Yes. So it's it's always it's always good talking to you, Kimo. It's always good. Um, I really, really appreciate you taking the time and sharing your knowledge. Um, yeah. I know that you said earlier that you do like IG lives. How mm. frequently do you, have you been doing them so that people can catch up? Um, you know, this singer singing the melody? Yeah. Well, we do uh, IG every Sunday. 12, nice. 12 um, midday to about 2 p.m. And um, I do mines also by myself, some, most time Thursdays and sometime in the week. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Like this is not a one conversation thing, really, because if you are trying to, in the same way that we grow up eating pizza and, and jerk mm -hmm. chicken on a Friday, KFC on a Friday, like we have learned so much about the wrong way to do things. We have it takes some time to unlearn that. It's definitely yes, not a one yes. conversation no. thing. It's not an overnight thing. No. It's a consistent um, you know, decision. It's a consistent action to be like, okay, this is where I was last year. I can do better this year. I can improve mm -hmm. upon that. Um you you bust some myths for me, like especially around that iron deficiency, especially around um even water and how to listen to your body when it comes to consumption of water, even fasting, mm -hmm. so that you are going, you're not trying to force the body into things that it's not ready mm -hmm. for. You're working with it. You're yeah. using that to your advantage. And that's one, one of the thing, I, I don't think a lot of people listen to the amount of information that is on the net. These people were given these information they are really not in the best interest mm -hmm. of people understanding. Why I say that? Because I listen to them too. And what I found, you can't create like you're in an army. If you're a soldier stand up and an ants is biting that soldier, he can't move. Mm -hmm. It's simple as that because he's an regiment. Soldier, you will get arrested. You understand me? For you as a human being, if you're drinking water and you feel the tummy full, stop. Don't put no more in there. Just wait. Because it means uh, it's not breaking down fast enough. Mm -hmm. And once it's not breaking down fast enough, the heart will go underneath constant pressure. Mm -hmm. And we see what happens in heart attack and strokes, especially now, because a lot of people right now is in a fear mood, worry, depressed, Stress anxiety. and anxiety and depressed. And that is a limbic system damaging the brain. And if your brain chip leak, boom, in our country now, I think the suicide rate is up, it's very high. 
and a whole lot of people actually just losing their mind, you know, because, you know, since Corona, all turbulence come down on them. And so we tell people, say, you can re return to yourself, calm your spirit, pray, mm. eat right. Even if you don't have the money, go out and buy some jackfruit, eat, because you never usually eat it, you know, eat to eat up your apple, you know, get some oranges, feel like a change and pray. God never leave us. No care where we are going to find a little room sometime and just kneel down. Beg forgiveness if you know your sin. Ask forgiveness. Pray. Prayer work, it never fail, but it's just that you have to be genuine. <laughs> you know, some little things work, but most people don't speak of the Almighty no more because everybody is self-righteous and self-taught and it's about self. So the moment you forgot your creator, then problem comes. You mm -hmm. don't want that to happen to you. You mm -hmm. have to go to the old path and seek who created you. You understand me? So it is as simple as that. <laughs> simple. You know? Simple as that. Um, and I don't really need to say anything after that. You know. Thank you so much, Kemal, for hopping on. Um, I'll share your information in the description box below. And of course, guys, you can feel free to reach out directly to connect with Kemo if you need help, you know, kind of getting back on the right path. Um, yes. Until right next path. time, this is Come Make a Talk. All right.